Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Star Trek Armada 3. Um, a call to arms, Klingon playthrough. And where we left off, we were, I believe we were partying. And, um, with our fleets. And we positioned them here. Only to find, much to our dismay, the Romulans had fortified since our last trip. So... That leaves us here. And now let's take a look. I'd like to see if I still have a ravenous, I believe. Oh god, look at all these nook jugs. Whoa. Alright, let's take a look here. May all our Fire band. With glorious battles. All right. The Conqueror. Ravenous. Hostile culture is too strong. Alright, alright, that's not a problem. Now, we do have a little problem. And, um, we need to solve that problem. Now, let's go take a look at the Nukjos we have here. I believe these are no longer constructed. Let's, let's move these away from, like, the, the front lines. We don't need these right now. But what we do need is, we do need some new ships to run in and help rescue our fleet. Because our fleet is kind of screwed over right about now. Now, I am a little upset that I couldn't find anything that lets me, um, what is it, a build from star bases because that would be really useful. But one thing that we do really need is a, a um, I'd like us to build a colony frigate. Because taking this place back is not going to be easy. And they're continuing to reinforce it. The Romulans also now have the biggest um, uh, fleet. I mean, I have a relatively large yes. fleet stationed here, but let me... Where is the enemy? We will drive the course. We're going to remake this as one fleet. Now, the Romulans can choose to launch a counterattack or fortify their position. Which, if I was a Romulan, I would be fortifying my position before I launch a counterattack. Although, the Romulans are definitely in position to do so if they so choose. Some Nukjas. Do we have a capital ship factory here by any chance? Yeah, alright. Not gonna. Okay, so we are upgrading our weaponry. It looks like weaponry and shields, which is a good thing. Um, and let me take a look here. Let's go over here. And we need to start building some new actual ships. Well, the Quebec class, what does... The Quebec class is... Oh, God, it is... Just, it's much more powerful. But... The death right is the back, uh, the backbone. Oh, I can't actually build that many. And what is something just killed itself? It's all oh right. Now I'm not very impressed with the fact that um, uh, our fleet managed to get. Us, I managed to get our fleet in that position. I did not expect them to um, be able to successfully fortify that position so heavily. It, um, it, it came to me as a surprise. So let's take a look here. They're scouting now, but, and I'm and stuff, I'm just, I'm trying to get comfortable here, and it's not 
working very well. We should probably start investing in fortifying this area. D set up defenses for the starbase. The day will be ours. So I don't want any um, Let us make war. Romulan warbirds to get through my um, defenses as meager as they may be. See this? This right here is why I hate the Klingons. Because they can do this. And it is awful. They can mine entire systems like this. And and I am do want to let's hide a couple turrets in the gravity well to, to uh, distract any Romulan. This should keep our um, guys, but it should also definitely, uh, most definitely, keep the uh, Romulans at a bay. Now we need the fleet here to finish its construction. We have our Quebec death rights, and oh, we're done. Or uh, almost. I thirst for battle. Ready to build. And we're increasing our um, weapon research, which weapons research. Especially since we're s screwed over in a situation where the Romulans are just sending crap tons of heavy warbirds and crap like that. I would like, I'd like to reposition a uh, Nukja, which I believe I sent all the way back here. And I, these Nukjas are kind of part of a um, diversion fleet. And so that's what I'd like to use these as. I'd like to use these as a diversion, and I think I'll use them in this combat. Just as you can see, there's so many um, Romulan warbirds. This planet, uh, we need to, we can't colonize this planet until this planet has been eliminated. And it looks like this is going to be our approach for the Romulan front. Just because this is kind of it's going this is going to become a major battle now I can avoid a confrontation but I need I'll lose a large segment of my fleet if I um, try to engage in a confrontation and so I'm gonna try avoiding that Now I believe I have a Nukja preparing to warp out. Alright, and uh, the turrets are looking good. Now, here's, now this is going to tell us just where their fortifications are. The ships they have, which I know we have the better defense systems, but they have the better colonization and culture but we have the smallest fleet and so on, which is why I'm setting a fallback point for here. Our fleet has arrived. Station construction complete. Alright. So there's a massive Romulan fleet positioned there at the minefield. Or at the starbase. Which is completely blocking all ship um all ships from this fleet here. Now what we can do is we can um, perhaps position a um, uh, we can position our fleet our main fleet here and what we'll do is we'll send and um, I don't really know what to do, I, we should do here as a lot of Romulan ships 
I don't know what the Dominion class does. It's these that I'm worried about. I'm just worried we not, might not be able to do it. But even if th this fleet is destroyed, um, at least they'll be out of there and we can rebuild it in a uh, more logical position. But I do need my colony frigate here because I'm going to build a star base into th in their system. We have created a new weapon. Let's get both fleets ready to engage. Now as you can see the Nookjas are very loose. They don't care too much about sticking close to each other and they're also fast. And you can see these ships, how I just set them up like that. They're very close together um, and they're gonna fire and they're gonna stay close together which is a good thing. Also they're a lot slower than the Nookjas. And these are gonna kind of serve as a distraction while I move my other fleets around in the system. Now, as you can see here the minefields are really going to take a long time to build. There's 150 mines queued up. And the starbase is I believe ooh, Doomsday Shockwave. We should definitely upgrade the starbase to maximum capacity. And I need my colony for it. They'll group up all the fleets to mobilize as one unit for the moment. And so now they they are the Romulans are sending a ship here. Now I'm curious as to see where Romulan scouts and Romulan attack ships from that sector arrive. Are they gonna arrive? Yeah, they're gonna arrive just outside of the minefield. Alright. To any um logical or uh, not logical, if they want to um move out anywhere um important or an in the gravity well at, at all, they're gonna have to deal with these bad boys. Which will slowly but surely go through their construction phase. Now, I need to go double check with this fleet. Ready to fight. We seek I need this fleet fully grouped up together and I need them set like that. It's going to take shorter time for this fleet to get here, so... Excuse me, I'm going to send these guys out first. Alright. Alright. Now. The fleets are going to position themselves and get ready. And the Nookja, uh, the Nookjas are set to, uh, kind of scatter. And what I'm hoping to do is I'm hoping, yeah, they're sending more reinforcements. I'm hoping that this will scatter their, oh god, their, um, uh, fleet and uh, prepared defenses and we have everything moving in here that colony ship is the important ship I don't know where it is at the moment though and these guys are on a hold position so the fleet will have to move to them to actually engage them And I suppose you could consider the other two fleets an escort, maybe? Is this my Nookja fleet? Yeah, it is. I thirst for battle. We will drive them before us. Alright. So let's do this. Or outnumbered, gravely. We need, we're just waiting. Our death rights have their flak bursts. And these flak bursts really are gonna 
Why are you guys engaging? No, 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 no. No engaging the enemy. Well, I mean, you can engage the enemy, but stay together. The more Romulan ships we can just destroy, the better. And that's why this fleet is stationed here. These, this is a really powerful fleet, and the goal here is to destroy as many Romulan ships as we can while staying in formation. Now, as you can see, I have my Nukja classes here, too, which are kind of uh, distracting the starbase while I get um, this fleet to move up closer. And uh, I'd like this fleet to actually... I can just click that. There we go. Yeah, I'd like this fleet to do that. And then, actually, I'd like you to move here. Then I'd like you to attack this ship. Alright. Oh, I'm getting a phone call. No. No. The Sword of Payless has... Overwhelming assault and experimental weaponry. Down, 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 down. Now, I'm not really sure how many ships we've lost, if we've lost any at all. This truly is a battle of epic, epic proportion. Uh, we have lost uh, a ship or two. I'm not sure what, and there's way too much fire, or of a firefight going on there for me to, oof, got up just fighting the starbase. The starbase, we can deal with later. Oof, that Romulan fleet, I don't know what just happened, but they're cutting through our lines here, as you can see, and they're um, succeeding at, they've cut through the lines pretty well but um, in an attempt to surround us. And the thing with Klingon ships is Klingon ships are meant for quick battles. They're not, the Klingon fleet is not meant for long um, assaults, like what we're dealing with here. And that's um, one of the problems we have. Uh, I, um, I use this, in case you haven't noticed, I tend to stick to the same play style throughout all um, play through. but it works best for the Federation. What's under attack here? My Nook Juz. But I'd like, while I'm here, I can send these guys to reinforce. And see, the Nook Juz are truly proving to be great. Oh, I bet these are the ships that we should lose. And that's fine. Now, I like this fleet to successfully get itself over there, and hopefully. Now, you can see here that the Romulans are taking hits on their fleet. Let's see, this ship is also nearly down, and it's just falling off a little bit. Um, but we're not concentrating any fire on it right now. We have Nook Joe classes scattered everywhere and they're drawing the fire of the Romulan fleet, it looks like. Romulans are not reinforcing this sector, which is good. We need to um, destroy uh, and reconquer this planet for the uh, Klingon Empire, I believe. Oh, no, I, no, I don't believe, I know. We need to reconquer, we need to conquer this planet for the Klingon Empire. It's a strategic I, I guess you could say it um, it has access to the Sun as well as direct access to the Klingon Empire which slowly but surely um, is getting uh, defended or a defense system and it's just it's a uh, important it's important to me as a planet. Now, it looks like their fleets are evacu- they may be evacuating, to be honest. Now, here's a flak burst. This will deal with some of their ships as they come into range here. Hopefully. I'm not really sure what 
the Romulans are attempting to do. Perhaps they're pulling their fleet out because they did take some pretty bad losses and the Nook Jug classes are set up just to just not care. Oh my god, Nook Jug classes can attack minefields. I did not know that. That makes them really valuable to me, actually. Alright, so yes, the Romulans are evacuating the sector, or the system, which is a victory for the Klingon Empire. That, I d did not expect to win that, guys, like, at all. The Romulan um, retreat was something I did not see coming. And this was just to get a foothold in the area, but it looks like that's going to stay. Now, I also believe I do not have a station here, and I would like, I really would like a station in this Badlands to scout out a Romulan advance. So let's order the construction of this. Uh, let's make it a full-fledged space station. Because I'll need to be able to defend myself. I now have the largest military um, as we successfully butchered the Romulan Navy. And as you can see here, it's just alright. So now, with that in mind, we are going to reorder our engagement for the Starbase. And we didn't really lose that many ships. This was. I am honestly surprised, and our Nook Jill class is plowing through the minefield, which if I'd known that these guys could plow through minefields, I would have, wow, I, I would have been using these a lot sooner, and I mean, they're pretty, they do a pretty thorough job. I mean, there, there's a Romulan minefield, which really restricts the mobility in the sector, and well, consider it gone at this point. Now, let's see, we have the battle station tug. Now, one problem that we are having here is our metal economy is not the best. And we're using a lot of metal. I mean, you have to use a lot of metal building a fleet with just such massive proportions. Now, let's go take a look. Just look at that. The Romulus star base does not, it just simply does not stand a chance against the entire might of the Klingon. It's a good thing. Although we are going to have to uh, rebuild parts of this fleet, as it was wounded in the com or it did take losses uh, in the combat, but not catastrophic losses. And the main, uh, its main ships, my most important ships, uh, most of them stayed. But we have a starbase here now, which, as you can see, is uh, opening fire on this uh, shipyard, and the uh, Romulans are uh, not going to have a good time. So the minefield has been destroyed, basically, at this point. Which is fantastic news, and means that this Nukja class is going to be, or this Nukja fleet is going to um, probably stay with me. Just because it's actually pretty useful. Now we are still taking losses here because a, a space station, a, this is an upgraded Romulan space station, uh, in case you couldn't tell. I mean, this is not the default station. They upgraded this quite a lot to make it powerful uh, to defend the planet, and um, that's why it's such a pain in my butt. But as you can see here, Romulan space stations, one thing that they can do is they can go boom. Very big, too. The Klingon space stations have the death shock wave, which is unnecessary. I really wish I took a screenshot during that epic battle we had with the Romulans. Oh, look at that. Just because um, I don't like the screenshot I have now for this uh, series. But I'm sure there will be other battles. Because I probably what I'm doing, guys, I'll probably end up recording the entire series and then uploading it. Uh, this time, the Cardassian series just uploaded its last video today uh, making this. So, yeah, there we go, she's down, uh, let's go just check this out guys, it blows big, almost as big as the planet, 
Which theoretically would have destroyed my fleet, most likely. If this was real. Now, the Nookjas, you guys have an order. What do you mean they have a colony vessel here? That's right, these Nookjas have the right idea. They do have weapons on them, right? Yeah, they do. And a whole fleet of Nookja classes should be more than enough to take out a stupid colony vessel. But now that that's taken out of the way, let's work on destroying the planet. And we need the Imperial Trade Forum gone, as well as all these Tall Shiar listening posts. And this is going to cripple the Romulans uh, culture-wise. Just because the culture uh, culture is an important thing in this, and the Romulans are um, um, currently uh, being not so nice when it comes to culture. Now, we still do have a decent amount of ships that can open fire on this planet, I believe. Although we did take some casualties, and we're going to rebuild those. Here, I believe, is... You know, we can't build them here. We, oh, look, we upgraded our warp core. Alright, we can build the new... It was a Nick Faw class. And Death Rites are my personal favorite. Uh, so that's what I would like to mass produce, but... We could really... We're going to build a couple, uh, about 15 new Nookjas. And then we'll build those five Death Rites. We actually have enough for one more Nookja. Alright. Now, let's take a look in here. What do we have in here? And just in case the Romans get any ideas, this will hopefully um, teach them a lesson. And because um, because of all these, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, we actually have the extra fleet here, which we can use uh, to start engaging these up uh, uh Tal Shiar listing posts. But um this is a major um culture place, it looks like. So this will give us access to two Romulan planets. Um and I'd call that a major victory. I was not exp the Romulan fleet um uh, surrendered, which I have well it didn't surrender but it fled and I had not I've never seen that happen before in a uh, match of Star Trek Armada. Oh, Romulans. Now, see, the Romulans don't want to lose their hold in the sector, and that's why the Romulans are pulling this off right now. They, oh god, this station is building really fast, and I'm slightly concerned. We need to be able to successfully take out all their weapons capabilities. Like right now. Or we need to destroy the station before it's uh, fully online. Or else our chances of destroying it are... Oh god. We just don't have enough ships firing on it. We need to reposition the bulk of this fleet. Uh, dest the destruction of the station and hopefully we're not too late but this station won't nearly be as strong as the other one it's still going to be pretty uh, it's still going to be a pretty rough fight now what are these because these are moving really fast these Quebec classes yeah we just don't oh nice look at that see we've colonized this planet yeah alright they're gone you can see the shields have been depleted. That's what we need. I guess uh, calling in all these death rites uh, to reinforce what we needed. Now, once they turn around and start re-engaging is when it's just going to get absolutely... It's just going to be rough. Now, we're not going to be able to destroy the station in time. Um, I can see that now. But we are going to cripple it. And it's going to be very damaged. 
um, to the point where once it is time damage, or once it we um once it's built, it'll be uh, yeah, it's built here. But you can see it's um doesn't have very many weapons, which is fine with me. Now I would like to take this part of the fleet, and I'd like to move it here to this planet. So we can just conquer that for the Empire. Oh, and these guys have the order to warp out. Now we're op opening fire on a Talshar listening post, and then I believe these guys have attack orders. Alright, not bad. Now, this is a new Romulan planet, and so we should treat it like one. I do not understand. Let's give it an orbital refinery and a trade port. Uh, let's also be able. Let's also grant ourselves the abilities to build ships from there. So, well, it looks like we'll have to wait. So the main bulk of our fleet is um, positioning itself so that it can. Um, in uh, we want to wipe out this planet. Oh, well, we've neutralized it, but... So I just basically I should probably get some propaganda centers up and running. Hold on. We have to wait for our upgrades, it looks like. Now that tall shower listening post is gone. This mining facility isn't a priority, it's the listening posts. Let loose the dogs of war. For the Empire. For the Empire. Oh my, and look, there's one little mine left. The little mine that could. I hate the Romulan mines. I do. Just because they're so good. I, I hate going against them. Oh god, the Romulans are... It looks like until we can cripple the Romulans that oh look at that we have the best colonization now. How many planets do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and this will make ten. And the Romulans have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, look at that. Oh, jeez, um. Ugh, Romulan counterattacks. I should have known. We will drive them before us. We seek Order honor. the fleet. For the Empire. Everybody's mixed, but the fleets get their ide the idea. The Romulans are attempting to take the planet back, it looks like. And this planet really needs to be something. You, it really better prove to be useful. Because it is just becoming a pain. Oh, I should stop sending my whole fleet there. That's the problem. And actually, now that I think about it, we have replacement ships for the fleet that were built up here. Why did it bring us there? Who knows? Alright. Let's see, let's see how much time we've added to this, just because I'm not paying any attention. And we'll save that. But, um, oh boy, this is a long episode. I thought so. Well, guys, um, this has been attack, counterattack, destroy minefields. Um, I think this is pretty good. Pretty productive. We did a lot. Well, I wouldn't say we did a lot. We've conquered one planet and uh, have continuously crippled Romulans and uh, hopefully uh, we'll slowly be able to um, make our uh, 
will slowly be able to launch an attack, and I'm going to probably next episode, or the episode after, start uh, increasing the amount of ships I can get so we can launch a, um attack on two fronts. Anyway, guys, this has been TheFingo11, and you have been watching me play Star Trek Armada 3, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>